Hello everyone! At the moment, our music teachers need to teach virtually. There are some, like me, who have tried all the software or platforms out there, like Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, even FaceTime, Skype, or Line. But no matter which platform we use, even with the best microphone, the sound of our instruments will still be dissatisfying. After all, these softwares are designed for meetings or speeches. The purpose is to transmit the human voice clearly. So the sound of the instruments may be treated as environmental noise and is filtered out. This seems to be the inevitable result of this kind of software design. Now, I'm very excited to tell you some wonderful news. An online music exchange platform dedicated to all musicians has finally arrived. It's called My Blue Skies. My Blue Skies is a platform designed by a team of musicians for musicians to use. This team consists of performers, professors, recording artists, and music directors. Special attention is paid to the quality of the sound to present the tone and volume as accurately as possible. When setting up an account, you can also choose the type of instrument you play. Isn't it awesome? In my experience, just by using the built-in microphone and amplifier, the sound quality has already surpassed all other software or platforms. Of course, if you use the USB microphone recommended by the official website, the sound quality will be even better. Now, I will introduce how to set up and use My Blue Skies. There are links to the official website and the platform in the description below. I suggest you take a good look at the introduction on the official website when you have the time. To start, click the link of the platform to set up your account. Then, click the blue Create Account button on the right to create a new account. There are two user accounts divided into teachers and students. The function of these two are a bit different. Teachers can edit the list of students and start classes. They can also schedule the date and time of courses in the calendar. After logging in, students can only click on the courses arranged by the teacher to go to class at the right time. If you need both the teacher and the student functions at the same time, you will need to use two emails to set up two separate accounts. Enter your email here and fill in your name. Upon completion, the system will send you an email. Please go to your mailbox and open it. Click on this link in the email to set your password. Now, to set your password. Your password must meet the conditions required by the system. It must contain at least eight characters incorporating numbers, uppercase letters, and lowercase letters. Once you are done, please log in. When logging in, please fill in the email you used to set the account in the username field. Enter the password you just set in the password field. Congratulations, you did it! It's quite easy for students to use. After logging in, you will see a button at the top of your screen. Once you press the button, it will display the courses that your teacher has arranged for you. You just need to start class at the time it's scheduled. Press the start button to start the class. For teacher users, you will see three big buttons at the top of your screens after logging in. There are the list of students, start lessons, and schedule. You must first edit the list of students by selecting the Students button. In order for a student to be added to the list, they must be a user of this platform. You can see that there are two blue buttons. The student list and course name can be edited separately. Press the Edit Student button. Enter the registered email of the student user here. Here, you can choose their instrument type. The options are brass, percussion, piano, string instruments, plucked instruments, vocals, and woodwinds. The classification is really precise. To schedule classes, select the Schedule button. First, click on the date that you want. Then, click the New Event button in the top right corner. Pull down the menu here to see your list of students. Select the student you want. Then, set the correct time. After confirming, press the Save button in the bottom right corner. 
when you click the blue date in the calendar on the left, you can see your schedule for the day. Click on one of the courses to see the edit and start buttons. When you want to start a class, click start to connect to the class directly. If a teacher wants to start an unscheduled class, press the button in the middle. Then, select the blue button in the top right corner to add the student. Once again, you can only choose from the students on your list. After you select the student, press start to start the class. After the connection is successful, you can see two screens, one large and one small. You can click on the smaller screens and the two screens will be swapped. There is a blue line at the bottom left of the big screen which shows the input volume status. If you see too much amplitude, it could be that the volume on the input end has exceeded the load. If this happens, you can adjust the volume settings slightly on the device. Find the control option of the input volume and turn it down slightly. Then try again to see if the situation improves. The system of the platform can display the level of the sound more accurately, which is critical to musicians. Both large and small screens have a microphone and camera button. Click them to turn them off temporarily, and then click again to turn them back on. If there is no picture or sound at the beginning of a call, it could be that the microphone and camera on the computer are not turned on so students or teachers can adjust the sound and video before classes. Okay, Ah, 等于是这样